because we were all afraid that we would get it again. <laughs> For the most Same. part, kids just avoided getting in trouble in the first place. Hey guys, loud guys. Today we are going to watch 1970s things that kids no longer do. So I am a 1990s kid and she is a 2003. Yes yeah, so <laughs> so the thing is like we are very much separate from 1970 and also the thing is 1970 and America so it will be very very different because India i think so was kind of recovering from the you know uh, the the freedom that we got from britishers and we were making things up and growing slowly slowly but i think so us was in a much more advanced state so let's see what happened in 1970 us and can we imagine doing that now yeah. so let's watch this video the 1970s was a time when things were different and i'm not just talking about fashion mm. there were things that we did and yet here we are for oh. example kids would play outside all day yeah, yeah. if there was dirt on our hands or faces and we had somewhere important to go then no problem we didn't use antibacterial wipes Same. or hand sanitizer We had something better. Mom spit in a handkerchief, and that was pretty much like 409. Yes. It could remove anything. And speaking of being outside, as kids we rode bikes without helmets, bike paths, or adult supervision. Same. There weren't any elbow pads or knee pads either. You know, I I cannot even tell you how many times I have even gone to like my clinics in when I was young because regularly i used to go like have uh, i used to fall down from a bicycle and then mm-hmm. i used to go for tetanus injection I, i i remember my experience with bicycle was that that i didn't know how to drive and do so one uh, one afternoon i decided that today i'm going to learn so in a you know heat heating temperature i learned by slowly 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 but now kids are like very lazy they're just playing video games they're not putting any effort to learn anything hmm that is the case so so i can relate to it even though i am from 1990s but yes i can we just ended up with scar- Hard elbows and knees. Mm. It sure was fun, though. Those scabs and scars uh, were like trophies just... with great no. stories to tell about what happened. But kids back then were adventurous. When a kid got seriously oh. injured, people generally felt sorry for the parents. They didn't blame them for letting them climb the trees. Oh. Safety standards of today weren't anywhere to be seen back then. Actually, there were trampolines, but they didn't have safety nets around them. Mm. We actually loved the challenge of danger. Remember Go squirting down the trampoline yeah. with water and adding a little bit of palm oil and dish soap to make it extra slippery? Mm-hmm. That just meant extra laughs when your friend slid off of the trampoline onto the ground. <laughs> Heck, even going to camp back then was completely different. Your parents didn't have to fill out 20 forms of paper wanting yeah. complete medical history yeah. including all of your allergies, insurance, and waivers in case you got hurt. You know, and also with allergy, I feel like people in america have much more allergies because i have heard anything about this no i have heard like a lot of people in us will say that i have this allergy i have peanut allergy or this and that in india we don't see that much like people saying that we have this or this that allergy because they don't know they just keep on yeah i'm i'm suffering from this this is i don't know what is the reason behind that but still it did not does not develop into an allergy because i have seen like people like they hate peanuts but then they would eat it and then nothing would happen but in america like if they Are allergic to it, so then they're like, we are allergic. Aww. School was also much different back in the 70s. Yeah. For the most part, we went to the closest school and not necessarily the best one. Oh. If we rode the bus and we acted up, the bus driver would yell at you. Hmm. The kid actually got in trouble, not the bus driver. Wow. We took our lunches to school in metal lunch pails, and inside could be leftover chicken, bologna, or even oh, tuna. Oh, I had yeah. similar ones. Back then, there were no fridges in the classrooms, and there certainly weren't any of those ice blocks to put in your lunch pail. Hannah Montana. Yet for some reason, we didn't get food poisoning. Hmm. I remember. If you had a teacher that was angry all the time, then you just dealt with it. You didn't transfer out of class. You just hoped and prayed that you would have a better one next year. Mm. When a teacher gave you swatch, you certainly didn't run home and tell your parents because uh-huh. we were all afraid that we would get it again. <laughs> For the most Same. part, kids Story just avoided yet. getting in trouble in the first place. Our parents rarely knew our teacher's name, much less how qualified they were. Wow. When it came time for the parent-teacher conference, kids got nervous and scared, not the teachers. If you got a bad grade on a test, then you got a talking to and not a cuddle. Back then if a kid received an award for being student of the week then it meant that they actually did something great instead of just showing up for school. In the 70s what happened on the playground stayed on the playground. Yeah. It could be rough but it could certainly be fun. 
When you did get injured, a teacher could put mercurochrome on a scraped knee without obtaining parents' permission or completing an oh, incident wow. report. Teacher can do that. School field trips were much easier. There was no such thing as a kid-to-parent volunteer ratio. You were just happy to get out of class and you didn't want to do anything to ruin the... There is a kid-to-parent volunteer ratio. Like what is that? I don't know, but I think so. Kid to parent would be like, okay, so like there should be, if there are 10 kids, so there should be one volunteer. Oh, achha, I, I that feel way. like huh, that Maybe. kind of, yeah, huh. it should be a ratio so that for the safety of the kids. Oh. So now I think so America has become much more protective, but the America of 1970s, India was in 1990 and, and still India is somewhat that only because uh-huh. like in schools we see uh, but kids still, get bitten. like America, even here in India has also changed, you know, like people are yeah. becoming more possessive towards their children. Yeah, but previously nothing used to be there and we used to get beaten a lot. School breaks were always welcomed and it wasn't about art class or summer camps. But we did try to blow off steam by getting into some sort of sport on Saturdays. Hmm. Making the team was always a big deal and it wasn't always guaranteed. If you didn't make it, then you had to try harder next time or pick a different sport. When you won the big game, you could tell tall tales about how it was done. If you had a great season and you came out on top, then you got a trophy. There were also trophies for second and third place, but these, not 20th. These, these, they're still there. Not every kid was going to get one, oh, and it was perfectly fine. Participation certificate. Family yeah, yeah, vacations yeah, came before lot. kids' sporting schedules, and that's something that seems to be disappearing from today's time. Mm. Fun times. Birthday parties were fun back in the 70s, and they certainly weren't like today's parties with celery and face painting. We had hot dogs, burgers, soda, and of course cake, but there were also other things to challenge you with an element of danger. This is so much. Remember having your hands tied behind your back, and trying to eat a donut on a string before others could? Uh. Sometimes this was even done while you were being held upside down. Sharp things were just part of the fun at parties in the 1970s. We played pin the tail on a donkey with a sharp tack after being spun in a circle and were completely dizzy. And how about lawn darts? We all played the game, and we didn't oh. think about it being dangerous. Yeah. And as a 10-year-old boy, it was perfectly fine to receive a pocket knife as a present. Oh, a gift really? like that could come in really handy and could last new? a lifetime. Very new. We also didn't worry about germs at parties. Yeah. Nobody wrote their names on cups, and we all shared them at some point. We probably even offered our friend a bite of our own hot dog. If somehow wow. we got injured and spilled blood, then there was a good chance that we were going to become blood brothers. <laughs> this, of course, was long before the AIDS scare of the 1980s. AIDS scare? What was that? Like how? Weekends were a lot of fun. Saturday mornings were your TV time. Just you, some cartoons, and your favorite sugary cereal. Kaboom! The rest of the day belonged to Dad so he could watch uh, sports, a movie, or even the news, news. later that evening. Yeah. So now that TV time was over, it was off to your friend's house to ring the doorbell and ask if they could come out to play. Back then, it was always easy to tell where all the kids were in the neighborhood because of all the bicycles out front. Mm -hmm. For the most part, kids could do whatever they wanted as long as they stayed out of their parents' hair. The weekend was really all about your parents' social lives. It was a perfect time for a sleepover at a friend's house. Then the next weekend, it would be your turn to have your friend over. Actually, this is so good. Dinner was an important time for the family to sit down together at the table and discuss the day or current events. As soon as it was over, it was time to take out the trash and do the dishes. That was every bit as important as doing your homework. Being tired was no excuse to be rude either. Everyone was tired. Wow. Going to the grocery store was an experience. Kids rode in grocery carts without seat belts or padded liners. <laughs> Heck, it was even fun to just have. They have seat belts in grocery like carts. Like now, they have seat belts. Like seriously. In India, seat... I don't see in India. Not in India. Like in I've never US. seen in India. But in US, they have seat belts. Safety for everything. Why? Why? Even I didn't even knew this because I thought like. But it's it's with parents like. I don't think so there is any risk. Like, what kind of risk is uh-huh. there? And in India, till now, we don't have that. Yeah. Like, any safety measures in grocery carts. I don't know if in Mumbai or Delhi, might some carts have it. But 
in India. I've never seen. I don't know about Mumbai and Delhi. Yeah, because we, we just get get our kid into it and they just enjoy into it. So we are still the same in the 1970s of USA. Groceries piled up on top of you. It was also fun to ride on the end of the cart as your parents pushed it. Uh, the cereal aisle was super colorful and they had some really cool toys and prizes inside. Wow. Back then, grocery stores had only one kind of milk. If you wanted skim milk, then you could just be a little weirdo by drinking half a glass or adding ice to it. We certainly didn't have 30 kinds of rice, almond, and soy milk. The choice was easy. Milk or no milk? Yeah. Every grocery store had now, a good butcher that you got to know well. Most meat packages didn't have a sell-by or use-by date. We depended on our noses and visual inspection to see if it was still okay to use. Oh. One thing you absolutely didn't see were kids on iPads or doing the latest TikTok dances. <laughs> kids just had to enjoy the experience. Yeah. This was also true on long trips in the car. No yeah. iPads, snacks, or juice boxes needed. Just you just found ways to entertain yourself. Wow. Maybe you played car bingo, or maybe you pulled out the elastic out of your sock and then popped your little sister or brother. <laughs> oh, look out! They're crying. Here comes Dad's arm. Don't make <laughs> him stop the car. So fun. No matter what, kids always found something to do. If you didn't, then your parents would. Never ever say that you were bored. That no, meant extra this chores. Is like a point. Point Back the then, way. kids would grab scrap pieces of lumber and wow. materials and then build their own clubhouse. None of them ever we came saw from Amazon or yeah. big box stores. This is so nice. Every year, kids would look through Christmas catalogs and dream about what they wanted. It was always fun to circle everything you liked. Kids didn't get everything that they wanted. If you got one item from your wish list, then you had a really good result. <laughs> Barbie! One item from your wish list. And now kids are like, I want there everything. There are literally thousands of things that kids them. used to do in the 70s but are no longer being done now. Most of those things are either illegal or frowned upon. Mm. Was it better or worse? I'm not quite sure and I'll let you be the judge of that. 1970s is much, much relatable to what India is now. Like... We can relate to it and we are having same kind of things. But yes, India is also getting a bit too cautious. Like you see uh, very good like safety things like coming. Like new moms. Like. Yeah, these safety things mm -hmm. are coming because the thing is like uh, there are cases also that kids are being stolen or something bad has happened. So because of those cases, that, that, that fear comes into that parents and then they do it. But previously, I also remember like I used to completely go out whole day my mother used to come down and she used to beat me because she used to know that like you never come home and eat lunch and anything but i used to just roam around do anything yeah but now kids nowadays kids they have perfect timings like three to five they want to go to tennis class five to seven swimming class and then they go home then they eat then they have sleep timings also everything is so perfect yeah even in the absence of technology like kids were enjoying even we have done even in the teenage now if we see teenage girl girlies or boys they're like so cautious about their skin and their appearances and how they're looking and their Instagram profile mm. and the last sentence was stuck in my brain like he, he said that so one line was stuck in my brain that he said kids never used to say that we are bored mm. like even now even in my house I used to see like kids used to say that we are bored even after having phone TV music friends studies a lot of things a lot of instruments to play listen mm. still they said we are bored yeah so the thing is like they are so habitual of getting entertained every minute so they are just like bored every time so what do you guys think about it do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye, bye.